For years, the venting of appliances, the water heater, the furnace, the boiler, and even the fireplaces always went into a thing like this, a chimney. Flu products were plenty hot, and they would lift up through a flu pipe out to atmosphere. But as equipment became more and more efficient, what happened was more heat went into the building to be used and less went into the chimney. And so then we had to find a whole new way to vent these appliances. And venting is a very important safety issue. The gases carry toxic elements, carbon monoxide, and that can kill people. So here in this basement, you can see a conventional furnace, and that's vented into the chimney like it always has been. Well, over here is a modern water heater. In order to be more efficient, we extract more heat into the water and less into the flue products. So it needs a fan and has to vent to outside, not into the chimney. Now this house has used PVC. The choices used for venting materials have been all over the map. Many times it came down to what was stocked locally at the plumbing supply house and what was the least expensive. And those choices have proven to be inadequate. Throughout the years, just some of the materials that have been used include foam core, plastic, or PVC. This is ABS. This is used in the American West. Polypropylene, aluminum and stainless steel corrugated vents. You see these on dryer vents. But the most common is standard Schedule 40 plumbing PVC. It was readily available. Now, pipe like this is rated to carry waste and water. And it certainly wasn't rated for hot gases. Now, the gas appliance manufacturers were in a tough place. They had a product that really wasn't perfect for venting, so they added a caveat to their manual that says you can use it as long as you check the vent material once a year. Nobody checks it once a year. So standard PVC plumbing pipe was used for venting, and it was left unchecked, and it failed. So a new standard was established by UL, UL 1738, and it challenges the notion that PVC, standard PVC, is strong enough to be used for venting. People know the difference between woods. A shingle is not a stud, is not a beam. Right? So too with metals, copper, steel, tin. But plastic, people just lump it together and all plastics are not created equal. Now there's a lot of ways that a standard PVC pipe can fail. One could be UV light or impact. Now here's a piece of PVC that was the same color as this at one time. You can see it completely discolored and even made the fitting break this way. There is a new engineered PVC on the market with a different chemical composition that is designed to resist those typical failures in a vent pipe. But it's not just the pipe, it's also the fittings. The UL 1738 standard now specifies that both the pipe and the fittings need to be produced by the same manufacturer. And that's more important than you might think. Now here's a case of two manufacturers. One made the fitting, one made the pipe. Look at the, how loose the tolerance is, and that would be hard to make a good welded connection. When they're made by the same people, you can see how beautiful that connection can be made. Now the other thing that the standard specifies is there needs to be a comprehensive installation manual provided by the manufacturer. And how would you know whether the pipe is rated for vent piping? It says it right on the pipe, flue gas vent. Safety is not an accident. If you suspect you need an upgrade, call a licensed professional today.